Hey everyone, so I wanted to make a quick video about videos. Um, ever since I've joined Unique, I have been a proponent of doing videos. I think it is one of the most helpful things out there for you to do because not only do the customers see your face, but they get to see you using the products and it, I think it helps them relate because they're like, oh hey, so and so is using this, I can do this too. So it kind of gives them confidence along with showing off your beautiful face and showing off the products. You know, if you use videos of other presenters, your customers are gonna get to know those people instead of you, and you are sort of the face of your brand. So you wanna be out there and put yourself out there. And I know videos are scary. Um, people feel kinda weird. I know it was a little awkward for me in the beginning too. Basically, you just talk to your camera like it's your best friend sitting in the room across the table from you. So I just wanted to give you a couple quick little tips and tricks for things that I do that are really helpful. And then I'll do a short little iMovie tutorial. So um, a lot of people say like, I don't have a professional setup. Neither do I. Do you want to see my setup? Hold please. That is my setup. My makeup box and a roll of masking tape. Super professional, right? Before that, I used this, my napkin holder. I stuck a box of mascara or business cards under here to boost my phone high enough to see it. Um, or sometimes I just step, set my iPod or iPad up on my makeup kit. Another thing is the importance of good lighting. Right now, I'm in front of my dining room window. It's a big sliding glass door, so I get a ton of natural light. And I know there's certain times a day that I can do my videos and get great light. I know not everyone can do their videos during the daytime, but if you're doing one where you're really demoing the products, I think it is really important to try to get that natural light so people can just see how great the colors and the products look on your face as opposed to with the overhead light kind of casting weird shadows and making things yellow. Um, another thing is, for me personally, I like to avoid distractions in the background. So I always angle myself along this wall. So I've got my wine painting in here. You don't want the mess in the background because it kind of can hurt your professionalism in my opinion. So, I mean, not that I don't have a mess, but I keep it out of the picture. So for example, like this hot mess, not in the background of my videos. I just always make sure to turn myself away from there. Oops. And then, um, the other thing is that I love to do, I love to, technical failures here. I love to edit my videos. I used to be in PR, so I know that like three to five minutes is like the max attention span, and nowadays, <laughs> three minutes is probably pushing it. So you wanna keep your videos short and to the point. So um, what I like to do to make them go really quickly is I film a demo without talking because I tend to ramble and I'll get sidetracked and start talking about something else and it takes me like two to three times as long to apply my makeup or focus on the task I'm doing. So what I like to do is film everything and then if the baby's crying in the background or you know a pet's going crazy or I'm not sure what to say, I can add that in later when I'm editing. And so then what I do is go back, you can watch your footage and then you can do voiceover in iMovie and Viva Video. And so that's what I do. And then that way, if you're trying to describe the mascara and you keep calling it 3D mascara, you can erase that clip and start over. And um, the other thing I think is important is before you do your videos, make sure, there's the baby in the background, that you lay everything out that you're gonna need. Nobody wants to see you like bending over, or going across the room to grab your lipstick that you forgot. If you're gonna do a tutorial on lips, make sure you have everything in front of you. If not, pause your video, go get it and come back. Or when you edit it, just cut it out. That's what I do. Um, I've been doing an eyeshadow tutorial class right now in my VIP group and so I'm just basically focusing on putting the makeup on. So anytime I'm like messing around opening up the eyeshadows or you know, changing out brushes, I cut that out. So basically it goes from me putting on color number one and then I pick up brush and then go to color number two. So that way you kind of kill the dead air time that kind of loses people. And then if you can put music in and um, that's always something fun that catches people's attention. And if you don't feel comfortable with doing videos, 
a lot of these movie making programs, you can do slideshows. So you can do photos of yourself doing your makeup, add music to it, or even speak over it. So now I want to take a couple seconds to show you some tips and tricks for using iMovie. To create your video, click on the plus sign and then a little screen will pop up and you choose the movie option. And once you've done that, it'll load the theme pages and you choose which theme you want. The theme will give you music and some transitions. To add your video file, click on the little film strip in the corner up in the upper left and then your menu of available videos and photos and audio will be presented. Depending on the type of file you want to add, you can toggle between video, photos, and audio. This is what it looks like once you've added your video file, and now you can begin the editing process. Here I'm showing you all the different editing options available for your video. You can do cutting clips, speed, audio, add text. The magnifying glass on the upper right allows you to adjust your screen position and how close or far out you want your image to be. You can add transitions by clicking on that little square where the arrow is pointing and choose how you want to transition between the different screens. If you choose to add in a still photo, you can position the image so it scrolls slowly or be stopped, which is Ken Burns disabled. I recommend splitting your clip before you add text so that way it won't be up on the screen the entire time and you have various options to choose from once you add it. The iMovie themes feature various music and you can fade in and out. You can only choose the song that comes with that theme, but you can also upload your own audio. I just use the preloaded ones. When I do use music, especially if I'm doing a voiceover, I like to turn the volume for the music down and have it fade in and out. So when I'm talking, it's quiet and louder if I'm just applying makeup. To add your voiceover, drag that line to where in the video you want it to be. Click on the little microphone at the bottom and this menu will pop up. Hit record. It'll count you down and you can watch the video play and then speak over it. When you're done, hit stop. You can review it and accept it and edit it and retake it if you need to. So hopefully that was helpful for you. So now I have a challenge for you. Make your own demo video that's less than five minutes long and use some of the skills you learned today. Add music, text, or photos. Thanks so much. Hope this was helpful.